Hello guys, yesterday I was studying um, this topic granulomatosis with polyangitis also known as Wagner's disease and uh, when I came to its manifestations then there were lots of them so I decided to make a mnemonic for these and share it with you guys so the mnemonic is actually let's go to the manifestations first first one is in the kidney the only manifestation I found is the glomerulonephritis and it's also a major one so there is no mnemonic for this glomerulonephritis another is in the ENT ear nose and throat so here the mnemonic is H O N E S T honest okay so here H for hearing loss O for otitis media N for nasal disease E for ear pain S for sinusitis and another S for subglottic tracheal stenosis. So this small uh, T refers to tracheal stenosis, okay? Just remember that. And next one is in the lung. Uh, it's very simple, that's 3PH. Just remember 3PH. P, uh, first P for pleuritis, another for pulmonary infiltrates, another P for pulmonary nodules, and H for hemoptysis. Okay, and then to the eyes now uh, I haven't actually created a mnemonic uh, for the manifestations in the eyes because it's just too simple uh, just remember all the inflammations that you can find in the eyes you know like uh, conjunctivitis it's the inflammation of the conjunctiva um, dacrocystitis inflammation you know infection of the Lacrimal sac, you can find scleritis, episcleritis, uveitis, u v e i t i s, and iritis, and all these, right? And when there is inflammation in the eye, so you can also feel uh, eye pain. There is pain in the eye. There can also be visual loss visual loss and sometimes uh, due to lesion in the retro or vital mass it can also manifest proptosis okay so uh, these are all the manifestations in the eye now let's go to the last part number five in the other manifestations so here uh, I have created a nice uh, visual mnemonic okay so I'll be drawing a knee joint here so very gross picture of it this is the thigh this is the joint and this is a leg okay so and there's a wasp here just draw a very rough picture of wasp it comes it comes here and it will bite in the knee joint okay so the, this is knee the wasp is biting the knee and what happens it will start burning you know due to this uh, sting of the wasp so I'll just create something like a fire here okay, you can just imagine okay, the picture is getting very rough so uh, let's just this is fire and now the person will uh, you know try to scare this wasp okay because he's feeling pain so 
let me see this is the person okay this is the man and he'll try to uh, you know blow out this wasp oh okay so he'll try to blow out this wasp okay just uh, imagine this okay <laughs> because uh, I found this really effective okay what do we learn from here you see this man is blowing out here this looks like a uh, a cough so the first manifestation is the cough and remember as uh, I told that this is fire fire means uh, there is increase in the temperature which means fever and let's go to this wasp right now now in the wasp W for weight loss A for I told this is a knee joint so there can be arthritis or pain in the joint arthralgias as for there is skin covering this joint so skin abnormalities so what are the skin abnormalities that we can find we can find you know papules vesicles uh, purpura actually palpable purpura ulcers and like that and then at last P for peripheral neuropathy and sometimes you can also you know witness cardiac manifestations such as pericarditis okay so you can also make P for pericarditis thank you